12 and verse 5. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12 and verse 5. We are going to read together. Is she our apostle? Uri Kejila, Ese Karno, Ulamaka. Now, this coming Sunday is a family Sunday. Let's be on our feet. This coming Sunday is family Sunday, and I am going to answer questions. I've said it. If you have any question bothering your mind, relationship, marriage, or any aspect of the Bible you don't understand, write those questions down, throw them inside one of those baskets. Now, so that if it will need, need that I study before that Sunday to answer your question. So I will not be saying this question. I will need a lot of Bible verses. Next, I will answer you next time. If you have any question bothering your mind, write it down. I don't need to put, know your name. Put it in that basket. On Sunday, we will gather them together. Praise the Lord. Then we are also going to treat them. Acts chapter 12 and verse 5. Spiritual warfare 3. Are we set? 5, not verse 1, verse 5. Verse 5. Acts 3. Thank you. Let's read together after the count of 3. Thank you, Brother Francis, for the, your testimony. Thank God for your life. Uh, the Lord God that showed his wisdom at times when we decide to do some silly things. As he was telling me his testimony, I told him, I said, I remember when I was in the Man of War. We went to Takwa Bay and uh, I saw two rivers and they said the water of this one must not touch to this one. I was very stubborn. I packed, uh, you know, took a container, took water from me. I didn't allow anybody to see me. I didn't know I was enjoying grace. When we got to the one that must not touch this one, I pour it. I, you know, that's the kind of person I used to be right from Chad. If they say something is not possible, I say, I want to know whether it is true. Nothing happened. But don't try it. Oh. Maybe I was operating under peculiar grace. Do you understand? You know, when he was telling me his testimony, it's a testimony putting your family on that deep sea and no life jacket. What if anything happened? Who will you save out of all of them? Your wife? Amara? Precious? Or yourself? In case of those of you that does not understand Yoruba, let your partner interpret for you. Acts chapter 12 and verse 5. Are we set to read together now? Acts 12, verse 5. 1, 2, 3, and let's go. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing for the church unto God for him. Father, we ask for a much deeper revelation today. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed, and amen. Now, be seated. Now, I told us last week, don't forget, that in Acts chapter 12, 1, 2, 3, uh, the Bible says in verse 1, Herod stretched forth his hand to vex the church. He arrested James and killed James. Now, when he arrested James, the church did not do anything. And he killed James. Then he now went further to arrest Peter. After arresting Peter, look at verse 5. The Bible says, and prayer was offered without ceasing. On your last story, last week Sunday. And I told you that every child of God should understand the act of spiritual warfare. And I told you that spiritual warfare is when you take your stand against any attack you notice uh, in your life. You notice that there is an attack. Now, now, I told us last week Sunday, I told us last week Sunday, we talked about your spiritual war, your weapon of war. What did I call it? I said the word of God. You take the word of God to challenge anything that contradicts the word of God in your life. Then on Tuesday, I told us, I said, in your weapon of war, as, your, as a child of God, you must always be conscious of your confession. That and every Christian should understand that your confession is what determines your life. If you keep quiet, hear me, the devil will continue to reign. If you say negative, the devil will take hold of that negative to stand against you. Now, today, what I want to show you, hear me, we shall be looking at watchfulness as an act of spiritual warfare. Now, that's what we'll be looking at. Watchfulness as an act of spiritual warfare. Kiki Sarah 
o la fe wo pe eni to ba njagun emi o gbodo ni ohun ta n pe ni akiesi jesus said it several times in the bible watch and pray o ni e ma kini e ma shora ki ese ma gbadura i remember when we were in boys high school in those days when we go and play football we turn it to song you know we we'll be singing it and everybody will be dancing but now that I'm born again, I have deeper understanding. Jesus did not, every time you see him talk about pray, he will always start it in word. Hey, watch and pray. Watch and pray. I will tell you why. Let's look at several scriptures to confirm my point. First Peter chapter 4 verse 7. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. And Luke 21 36. Those of you in the media, I will say it once again. And if you miss it, I will flog you. Uh, First Peter 4 7. Colossians 4.2, Ephesians 6.18, and Luke 21.36. Let's look at these four verses. It talks about watchfulness. Now, so many Christians know how to pray, but they don't know that <laughs> watching is part of spiritual warfare. Let me tell you a story before they get us up the scriptures, you know, before they bring up the scripture. Now, there's this woman in my area. She attends Baptist church at a level here. Now, she was a deep member of Baptist in Ogbomosho. She and her husband, they were attending, they were Sunday school teachers, doing very well. And you know in Baptist church, if you grow to the point of a Sunday school teacher, you are born again. I can tell you that. Baptist church. So they relocated. Work brought them to Ibadan. The woman was working as an addresser. The man was working as a bricklayer. And this guy was doing so well as a bricklayer. Lo and behold, this woman met one of her friends, and the friend said, she has three children, and talked talk to her and said, all right, my husband betrayed me and things and things like that. And out of innocence, she said to her husband, anytime you are going for a bricklaying job, please take my friend along. Thank you. Take my friend along. And they were glad. Don't forget they are members of Baptist Church. And they will keep going for jobs until when there was this contract in Lagos. Now, they were to go for three weeks. So, he told her friend, I follow my husband at least these three weeks as a stretch. You will work at least making money per day. As at that time, they were paying well too. Making money per day for three weeks. By the time you come back, at least you will be able to establish what you have learned as a trade. Beloved, they went to Lagos and after three weeks that they returned. This woman noticed that her friend was no longer opening up to her. Her friend was no longer playing, you know, getting close to her, but her friend was getting so close to her husband. After like two months, she noticed that her friend was pregnant. And all of a sudden, they also had to come up and say to her that, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. You brought her, she's your friend, but something has happened. She's going to become my second wife. Now, when the woman told me the story, I was shocked. As I'm talking to you now, hear me. It was not up to two years after. The man died. He died in a car accident. As I'm talking to you now, that woman that is her friend is the one that inherited their property in the Bible. Where's the real wife? She's gone back to Gomosho. Listen, the devil most times, hear me, does not always come as a Goliath every time. Have you heard of sheep in wolf's clothing? Have you wolf in sheep clothing? Now that's where watchfulness is important. Let's read our scriptures. Let's read our scriptures. The first one, 1 Peter 4, 7. Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. Now this one area seven things are careless. Now it says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. And what? And watch unto prayer. He didn't just say pray. He said, be ye sober and watch unto prayer. Don't just pray. Also while you are praying, be watching. What does it mean to watch? Observe. There are certain things the devil is gradually doing in order to make people's testimonies not to come. Ephesians, the next one is in Colossians, okay, 4 2. Look at this one again. Let's read together one, two, three, and let's go. He said, Continue in prayer and what? And watch in the same with thanksgiving. 
Oni bo se n gba dura yen te si wa ji ninu adua ko si ma ki esara na. A lot of children of God are not watching at all. That's why I want to establish it. I will show you some things. That watchfulness is part of warfare. If you are not watchful, the devil can bring you down. The next one, Ephesians 6.18. Ephesians 6.18, let's read again. It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And what? And watching the aronto. Boshem pray all kinds of prayer. Then no Nikoshe ma watch. He didn't just say ma come ma gadura. Because hello me gag bokea. As long as you ma do a gba kusin kan to le she me ba ban la ero. To ba ma do a gba. To mo bo she ke sara. O ma lo. You will be shocked how the devil will just knock you off. That's why I'm talking about watchfulness today. We are still going deeper. The last one, Luke chapter 21 and verse 36. Luke chapter 21 and Verse 36. I'm waiting for you now. Luke 21, 36. Thank you. 36, not 26. Look. He said, Watch ye therefore. And what? And pray always. That you be accounted worthy to escape. Can you see? Watch and therefore and pray. It didn't just say pray and pray. Watch therefore and pray. I come again. Watch therefore and pray. So every Christian. I am calling you to watchfulness. I wrote down here. Watchfulness in warfare, listen, is being sensitive enough to be able to identify satanic traps. Let me come again. Watchfulness in warfare is being sensitive enough to be able to identify satanic traps set for your destruction. I come again. Watchfulness in warfare is being sensitive enough to be able to identify satanic traps set for your destruction. Being sensitive enough. Now, watchfulness is different from suspicion. Hello? You know, suspicion is just you are using common sense. But being sensitive is you being able to get a signal from the Spirit of God that something is wrong, that something is about to happen, that something is being planned. That's why, see, your greatest partner as a Christian that wants to win in the battle of life is the Holy Spirit. A suspicious person is only thinking based on common sense. Hello? But a sensitive Christian is somebody who is acting based on the leading of the Spirit. I don't know why. I don't know why. He's just something somehow is just making him conscious about something. That's the realm you must get to if you will not fall into a trap. I will show you scriptures to it. And so many Christians, they, they don't see. A lot of Christians are just going like this, like sheep without shepherd. Do you know why? They're not sensitive. That's why a lot of Christians are falling into traps today. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. If there's anywhere the wicked is waiting for you, you escape in Jesus' name. I wrote here, this can only be done. When you are able to recognize signals from the Holy Spirit, that's our counselor. Just like I said, it is different from you suspecting. Suspicion is of the flesh. Now, look at two examples. Matthew chapter 2, 22, Acts chapter 16, 5 to 10. Now, look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 20. Look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 22. Look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 22. Look at Matthew chapter 2, You can suspect anybody. Your suspicion may not be right. But when you talk about being sensitive, look at that Matthew chapter 2 and verse 22. But when he heard that Achilles did reign in Judea in the room of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go to that. That's suspicion. Notwithstanding, being warned, can you see, of God we are in a dream. He turned aside. The second, that's, that's sensitivity. 
The first one, he was afraid. Suspicion. But the second one, the Holy Spirit showed him something in the dream. I've taught you here before. He does not speak to all of us in the same way. Now, that particular time, the Bible says, Joseph got a dream. And being warned in that dream, as he woke up from that dream, he said, we are not going to that place again. We are not going. If we go there, this boy, Jesus, will die. That's being sensitive. Now, look at another example. Not everybody will get dream. Acts chapter 16, 5 to 10. Acts chapter 16, 5 to 10. Acts chapter 16, 5 to 10. Now look at this. And so were the churches established in the faith and increased in number daily. Yes. Now, when they had gone through Pragria and the region of Galatia, and we are forbidden, can you see? And we are forbidden by the Holy Ghost to preach the word in wait. They wanted to go to Asia to preach, but they did not have a release in their spirit. That's sensitivity. They want to go, but there was no release. Something somehow just made them feel, I don't think it's time for us to go. That's being said. We are not yet true. Let's read on. Let's read on. Now, when we had gone, okay, we have taken six, verse seven. Now, after they come to Messiah, Look at this. They are said to go into Bethany. But the spirit did what? Suffer them not. They also wanted to go to another country again. The spirit did not allow. Every child of God must be sensitive. You have an Holy Spirit in you. See, that Holy Spirit is your greatest need to conquer in this battlefield called the earth. If you don't know, the earth is a battlefield. Okay. But lie is You know why? There are battles everywhere. Now look at these examples that I brought. There are battles in the family. Or can we start even from our colleagues? Now look at what happened in between Abner and Joab. Both of them were in the army. But Abner was in the army of Israel with King Saul. Joab was in the army of Judah with King David. Now, after King Saul died, Abner was well, well, let me come to King David. Kawa submit. Now, a general was coming. David was happy. This man is coming to team up with me. But Joab was sad. There is battle among your colleagues. And he beat and Now, Abner had come to David and told David his intention and bringing all the army of Israel to come and submit to you, oh my king. We all are going to sir, work, work, work with you, sir. You are going to be our king. David was happy, was dancing. But when Joab had it, you know what will be crossing the mind of Joab? Will I lose my position? That's why I want you to know that there is battle even among our colleagues. Now, and when Joab had, they said, ah, Abner came to see David. He said, Abner came. Where did he pass? He ran after him. As he got to see Abner from far, Abner said, ah, Joab, Oremi Joab, my colleague, my fellow soldier, he was coming with an open hand. Ah, Joab, Joab, my friend, my colleague, we are coming to join you. In fact, the army of Israel is coming to submit to the army of David now. We are going to be one. The Bible says Joab opened a sword, a dagger, and held it like this under his cloth. The other one opened arm, he opened dagger. If he was sensitive enough, will he fall? He won't fall. You didn't hear me. He won't fall. But because he was not sensitive, yesterday I was listening to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He said he went to visit Reverend Lukoya of Mountain of Fire. He said, and Reverend Lukoya said, look at the testimony that just happened. We went to preach in Kenya. And we're leading prayer in Kenya that every man that is holding what belongs to me, I want to hear Tom in Belo. He know Lord Okoma join Biki Bitabawa. Oh, yeah, two Tom is silly. Right there in the crusade, a woman was running from the house and was coming. I will give you what belongs to you. I will give you what belongs to you. As she got to the crusade, they said, Who are you? He said, My daughter is here. My daughter is here. I took her womb. I took the womb of my daughter. I want to come and give her. I want to come and give her. Her biological mother was behind her case. That's why everyone holding what belongs to you, I declare 
that the fire of God will torture them to release in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about being sensitive. Now look at battle among colleagues. Abner stretched his hand. He brought out knife. As Abner came into him, the knife entered the stomach. That was the end. Oh, somebody will say, Pastor, okay, battle among colleagues. Yes, she does. What about battle among family members? Abel told Cain, my brother, let's go to the field. Let me go and show you something. They were going together. How did Cain kill Abel? According to my book of Bible story that Jehovah's Witnesses wrote, I saw the picture. Cain was going in front. Later I said, ah, uh, Abel, my brother, see where I'm, who, what I'm showing you. As he went ahead to see, he smashed him with an axe from behind. There is battle. Even in your family. It takes being spiritually sensitive in order not to fall. Okay, are we talking about that? What about battles among your friends? Uh -uh. David had, uh, uh, I mean, Samson had a friend. Her name was Delilah. Samson was in love. But Delilah was not. Samson wants love. Delilah was an assignment. Who knows among your friends that are on assignment? I didn't hear you. Who knows among your friends? Somebody was sharing with me. He said, sir, sir, I was almost killed. So what happened? He said, I stood with a friend. We met at the bus stop. We greeted. And the person bought, we were looking for bus together. The person bought sweets in my presence. I, he, he ate and gave me one. He said, as he gave him one, he said, I, I, she do me no shah she took the sweet, He took the sweet, put it in his mouth, and all of a sudden, the boss came. Oh, coco, 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 and they were going to coco together. They bothered the boss. He said, that was that thing he realized. He had slept off. Not knowing that the person selling sweet and the person standing, they were walking the same walk. The boss, the person that came with boss was walking the same. He said the next thing, he opened his eyes. He saw that they were pointing a knife to his heart. They were pointing a knife to his heart. And the person said, ah, ah, li, li, li. We can't use this one. If not that the mark of God's grace was upon his life, if not that the mark of God's grace was upon his life, that would have been the end. Pay attention to the leading of the Holy Spirit. What about battle among neighbors? I'm showing you examples. Battle among your neighbors, those of you that you are living together. Something happened in 2 Samuel. Look at it. 23, 10 to 13. 2 Samuel 23, 10 to 13. I've shown you among colleagues, battle among your colleagues. I've shown you battle among your family members. I've shown you battle among friends. I've um, now I want to show you battle among neighbors. There are some people that you live together, you think that they are ordinary. The Bible talks about David being in a particular village. He was living there. And they heard that Saul is coming. Saul is coming. Saul is coming to this village. The Bible says, and he went to inquire of the Lord. Show us that scripture now. Second Samuel chapter 23 from verse 10 to 13. He went to inquire. Now, 23 from verse 10. He went to inquire of the Lord. Ulua, shall want people mad at me? He arose and smote the Philistine. Is this a second? No, first Samuel, sorry. First Samuel 23. First Samuel 23, not to second. 10 to 13. Then said David, O Lord of Israel, thy servant had certainly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Kaila to destroy the city for my sake. Saul is coming to destroy the city for my sake. Now, what is his request? Verse 11. Will the men of Kaila deliver me up unto, the, unto his hands? Will Saul come down as thy servant at his heart? O Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, he will come down. He's coming to Kailao. You know, he asked God two questions. Will this man defend me or will they deliver me? Next verse. Next verse. Then said David, will the men of Kailao deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, they will what? I didn't hear you. They will deliver you. The people you call your neighbor. 
They will deliver you easily. Ah, what did you now do in the next? <laughs> will they deliver me? The Bible says, then David and his men, which were about 600, arose and departed. So, there is no place that is safe, hear me, outside God. Now, I wrote this one. What about battle among fellow believers? Battle among fellow believers. Can there not be battle among believers? What about Judas and Jesus? Uh-uh. The man that betrayed Jesus was his disciple. Then if that one didn't touch you, Job chapter 1 verse 6. Job chapter 1 and verse 6. Let's read this one together. I want you to see it by yourself. One, two, three, and let's go. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. They came to church. What happened? And Satan came also among So if Satan could go to the church in heaven, it be taller on gang babe because some of you believe that ah, ah church it's here jeba wa ino jumbe esa ewele or unlele inse alone on gang gang lute do sibe we believe me satani no see wo church so oh she she ki satani wa la ni wa oh she she ka je wa la ni wa You know, that's why I always tell people not to share testimony of what God has not done or has not finished. You come to church, praise the Lord. Uh, in the next one week, we are in Wall America. Have you forgotten we hosted Baba, uh, what's his name, Allah Shepe, in our church. And the Baba, he spent three days with us. He was telling us about two sisters. In their family, they don't get pregnant. And God did it. And we Instead, they can't do it. Oh, party Thanksgiving to the Jabo. To two months ago, and Tony Shewan, who went to church. Did you hear me? What, Giovanni? I read this one in the book of, uh, uh, I think it was, uh, uh, it will be Reverend Luca's book. I can't remember the book I read. This person was the one inviting this woman to church. And told that there is a crusade. And he said, What do you say? You know, would you alone for money? Oh, but the Lord crusade, he said, And look, but one crusade, he got the pressure of poor. You know about Lord crusade. Reverend Luca, you did lead the prayer. He apatayer, aye, the Bolueni Kenny, Toba one dear me. Rock of ages, fall upon whoever is behind my matter. And he told everybody, lift up your voice and pray. And that woman in the prayer meeting was praying, rock of ages, rock of ages, fall upon anyone on top of my matter, rock of ages. As she was praying, the woman that invented that to church was screaming, Joe, daddy Jimmy, forgive me. They now stop. God call her. What happened to you? He said, she's run, raining stone on me. She's raining stone on me. Tell me what happened. Are you the one behind her barrenness? He said, I'm the one. Why did you invite her to church? He said, I just used it to do her service. So that she will never suspect me. I didn't know that God will answer her prayer. Ah, may your enemy make the mistake that will make you to, make you to rise. The mistake that they will make that will lead to your own promotion, may they make it. Amen. What am I telling you? I'm telling you so that you can be sensitive. That don't let somebody use speaking in tongues to deceive you. Satan too comes to church. You'll be shocked. They'll be, they'll be yeah, kata, kata, kata. You'll be sad. They are spiritual. You know, some of you, once you hear, yeah, gada, gada, uti, uti, mwe. But, ah, omo, yamini. Omo, yamini. E, de, wa, don, so, eh. Christian. Listen.
listen. There is no spirit that knows any man than the spirit of God in man. And listen, the Holy Ghost will never open his eyes and allow you to fall. But why do people fall? They fall because they don't pay attention to the leading of the spirit. I need to repent to Bunja and speaking to all who made the fall. To repent to Basho and what ah, who made the fall. You, <clears throat> oh God, how I wish that I can just pour out everything I know inside of you. What can you do to improve your spiritual sensitivity? Because it, there are certain things you do to catch it. There are, if you don't do them, you, can, you can't get it. Some Christians will never see what God, what the, what the Holy Spirit is saying. Go, go, she sign on and get it. Baba Sonia, of blessed memory, is house about three or four houses to this right side. He was telling me, he said, Pastor, do you know how our founder, Church of the Lord, Allah Dura, how he died? Of the one at a uh, 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 sharp corner. Do you know how he died? I said no, sir. Because I love listening. I love elders. Malai kama gala bagon. Times you won't walla yeye. I'm always around them. If I tell you stories that elders have told me, he said, "Baba, I'm poor. Fun a jodun wa ni badan. Ufe wa wasu. On the mbo la teko. Pastor, on kuro ne. At on the toll gate, ni ono tipe." Oh, be Bible at a message book. Oh. Baba Pada. Driver, turn. At a message book, me at a Bible. Oh, Pada, see, le, leko. Oh, be message book at a Bible. What on Pada, bo. What to see fair, they took gate, we can't call it, we can't call it, we can't call it, we can glasses. Ah, me, Driver, turn. God has seen that there is an accident in the way. But one get the signal. Want to pad along glasses. Igba totum bo want to ni ah and won not only and won you wake to your car and could any fun church you bad down. One lay man in nothing pada, nothing law. Instead of him to say, wait, I don't know what the Holy Ghost is saying. Let's calm down. A me more kill and so. Because one thing with the Holy Ghost is that he will first show you sign. If you calm down, you will ask him questions. He will now tell you. But most people don't pay attention to sign. Do you know what? Why? People, people perish, they fail, they fall when they miss God. So what can you do to improve your spiritual sensitivity? Number one, love to always live the life of God. In brackets, abstain from sinfulness. Jekuma fi bubu ba we lati ma gbe gbe aye Olorun ni kukuru safeshe Sheri ese o kin je ki a a mi ti e mi mo ba nfun wa ko ye wa Look at Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 You won't get it because sin will not allow you to get the signal. Isaiah 59. Ah, was it not the, the, the aircraft that killed one great servant of God? Evangelist Kuli too was in Abuja. They were to be coming to Ibadan. So, 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 airline. That same aircraft that crashed, that didn't get to where it was going. They were to board the aircraft, but they said, sorry, some VIPs have just booked. So they stopped them. They told them to go and take, go by road. 
won ti de badan ka won to gbo pe plane te crash let's read isaiah 59 1 and 2 59 1 and 2 your ears are healed in the name of Jesus. Let's read together one, two, and let's go. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ears heavy that it cannot hear. Verse 2. Verse 2. Isaiah 59. Now you read verse 2. Let's go. But your iniquity have separated between you and your God. Your sins have hid his face from, from you that he will not hear. Yes, ma. Only key, see. Only our will be shaking. Kokurula tigbani. Bibeli ni eti re kowuwo. Tiki yo fi bo. Only ay she de de yi. O ya yi ku lodo lor. Ati e she yi. Lo she kini lo pa o ju le man. Kuro lo do yi. Ti on ki yo fi bo. Let's pay attention. The more you involve in sin, the more you cannot understand the language of people of the spirit. O ye nko to lo no man so koni ye. You know, that's what I tell. You know, that's one of the areas I used to have problem with some of our youths. I came to introduce to you. And most times, when they have started having sex before marriage, they won't listen to what the pastor is saying. I'll, that's why I always tell people, see, Christian courtship is without sex. You will be able to see. When, once sex comes in on the way, you can't see anything again. That's when you'll be hearing, sir. There's something you can do about it, sir. Just pray for us. And what the Holy Ghost is saying, you'll not be able to see it. Sin is a disconnector. If you say you are born again, see, make up your mind to live the life of God. Number two. Involve in activities that improve your spirituality. Now, involve in activities that improve your spirituality. In court, spend more time studying the word of God. Spend more time in worship and prayer. Now, when you do things like this, hear me, your connectivity increases. Most people don't know that. The more you worship and pray, the more you study the word of God, the more your, your connectivity to God will increase. It will be easy for the Holy Spirit to pass a message to you and you understand. That's why I say, look up. If the devil is going to attack you, he will first make sure he kills your prayer life and your study life. Now, once your prayer life and your study life is dead, spiritually you can't catch anything again. Would that be antenna tannos? Okay, don't catch a signal. Hey, children, to your credit one no phone. Hey, time one no phone. Phone on, but phone on the signal. Awa ma wa kaki bi. Kilo shell and me. You know, there are times like that. I'm talking to my daughter. We, are, we say we want to do night prayer. Oh, yeah, let's pray. My father in Jesus' name, I And that is stop. Let's hold on. Because I demand night prayer. And he said, hold on. We off it. After like a few minutes, we call. After some time, what happened? What happened? He said, the network of this area is good. Oh, yeah, stay, stay where you see network. So she will now move to the entrance of her room. She will get network. Then we'll be able to. Some Christians are no longer getting network. You know why? They are no longer involved in spiritual activities. When last have you studied your Bible? Zero. When last have you spent time praying? Zero. And some of you don't know that there are attacks. We were with our doctor friend on Monday. And he said, Pastor, things are happening. 
I said, what is it, doctor? He said, you won't believe. He met a, a doctor, sat down at Jericho Hospital, sat down, attending to patient. All of a sudden, she just screamed. Ephemizile! I went out of the city to get here. He said they now quickly called him. Talk to him about you can't want our new intake seeing it. And we eat and we'll be in no. You know what it takes to become a doctor in Nigeria? Me, so I brought you in Nigeria. Motion so for you, Emma come for my leg call. Hey, echo If you like, spend one million, ten million training the child that you have not taught God, that child is not secured. I said, Doctor, one hour, set her. She's still like that. She will attend well, but to batting dust, not to know batting more. Only to my dad, you know, to my dad will be 20, 30 long. I cannot keep it. Everything is there. Ah, every arrow targeted at you or your children. I command such arrows to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Ah, your labor over your children shall not be wasted. I'm telling you, true life story. That's why increase your spiritual activity so that your, your, your connectivity will increase. Yeah. It will be easy for you to get signal. Hello, me omo. Ikwele towa. Ninuwe to alon ufun a ye bai. To riki ko get signal. Ko mong koto nishele. Iru uwa le man rito man wawo li kakiri. Esa kileri. Tell your company, ah, ah, brother. He'll be interested to hear. You know why? Um gong mon kon kon pa a yi are ma. Say connectivity. I didn't hear you. You get more connected when you involve in more. Of spiritual activity. Let me ask you, when last have you done fasting? Hello, me September to September new. Odibati church but don't declare in September. Kuni pass na time to fast and pray. Ah, but to feel lawa. But to feel lawa. Imagine, you know, I and the doctor and my wife were just talking. Ah, sir, that that ladies, she's still a lady. That lady's parents must have spent millions. Medicine in this city is eight point five million. Not for four years, old. one year. And how many years cost the medicine? I didn't hear. I'm talking now. Six, sir? Six or seven. Okay, let's cut it down to six years. Eight point something million times six years. That's about 40, like 43 million, sir. Abby? Sir? She go to bed. Ah, Tilly City High. Law one is uh, 3.5 million. Law la son one is three point five million. Lulu ko Jesus la la in lulu yomo ni jasa son. Eni tu bani ke she la son agbara lulu ko kolo. Time has gone. I didn't know. We are still. I want us to pray. We we'll pray. Maybe if two minutes. Now, look at the amount that parents must have spent on that child. That's why I say, in my own house, I'm doing my best 
to make sure that my own children, they understand God. Now, if every one of you become pastors in your family, every father stand as the pastor of the house, every mother stand as the teacher of the house, teach your children to know the Lord, it will be easy for you. I will be any. Tori in kanto ye kwa 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 finisi mi wong kwa. Ki doctor ye kwa mwa kwa mwari fun kwa mwari aje. Kwa mwari everything. Kwa do si wajwi. Kwa jia kwa ni kwa attend si. Kwa 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 Number three, number three, fast. Number three, number three things that increase your spiritual sensitivity. Let your heart always be conscious of being at the center of God's will. Opportunity come while abroad, Uluwa. She fair in for me. Eh, eh, isha kwa wani kini, eje ki okanyi ma fi bo ma pungbe. See, whatsoever you don't have hunger for, you will not be satisfied with. If you are always hungry for the will of God, God will not allow you to fall outside his will. Let's take the last one so we can pray. And number three, listen to the experience of other children of God on spiritual sensitivity. Imagine one CAC church at Ososami. Let me not mention the name. They said one of the pastors came out. It was Baba Lashipi that was telling us this thing. The pastor came out and said, "Any you look logo, hey Joe, but I might get on so far away, yeah. At if me wadi, what did you know? You know, sure she nothing she. At the nika wa be yin, hey Joe, but what you but I might get le, hey Joe, we will let you she she more so far away yin ni, we go yin ti wa. Can you imagine what the church of God have become?" And who knows? But you need your good jagani, brother Mike. You know there are some brothers who be Johnny DJ. Or who knows? We are only so cool, so the brother Mike. You know there are some of you. You don't know that the trouble of your life you took it by in putting your mouth into matters of people you don't understand. Mama, so long, sure, Lord, you wanna come dasi. This world is a battlefield. Now, what have I taught you today? I have taught you to be spiritually sensitive. That being spiritually sensitive is being able to identify the signals of the Spirit of God towards you. And I've taught you how to develop in it. I want us to pray two prayers and we close. Do you understand today's message? And did you learn to, a lesson? Let's take two prayers. I told you I will be leading you in prayers every Sunday morning as well. Number one, every plan of darkness to, my, to make my effort to be wasted. Effort over my marriage, effort over my children, effort over my work, effort over my ministry. Now you will generalize it. Every plan of darkness to make my effort to be wasted. You are destroyed in Jesus name. Now jump up on your feet. Jump up on your feet. Are you here? Say after me every plan of darkness. Now say it like a soldier. Every plan of darkness to make my effort to be wasted. You are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to turn into prayers. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I command the plan of the wicked to waste my effort. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
Command their destruction now. Command their destruction now. You are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name of prayer. Take the last one before I pray for you and release you. You will declare, everyone holding what belongs to me. I didn't hear you. Say, I command you. Begin to release now. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Command them to release. What belongs to you by fire now. In the name of Jesus. Rekadabasa tayagadasa. Rengodiadabas. Basetele maskene. Shangada barabas. Everyone holding what belongs to me. Come on. Here hear the voice of the Lord. Release it now by fire. 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 Rekada basata yangadabas. Shakada basetele. Rekada basata yangadabas. Yakada basenele bosa. Shakada base. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you be able to identify the signal of the Spirit of God always in the name of Jesus. May you be sensitive enough not to fall into the trap of the wicked in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and David sang concerning Abner. He said, why did you Abner die like a fool? You are an army general. Why did you die like a fool? Ah, I pray. Whatever kind of trick that the enemy plans to use against you, I say concerning you, the Holy Ghost will expose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not fall to their hands. Amen. I say you will not fall to their hands. Amen. You will not fall to the hands of brethren that we call brethren that have become agents of Satan. In your going and coming this week, enjoy perfect divine protection. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. You are favored and blessed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Please don't forget, suspicion is different from being spiritually sensitive. Suspicion is of the flesh. You look at it by natural eyes and you are suspecting. But being sensitive is you being able to recognize the signals of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is saying something to you and you are able to get it. Pay attention to the four points I taught you towards the last on how to improve on your spiritual sensitivity and go and do them. The Lord will help you. Amen. You will not fall to the hands of the wicked. Amen. In Jesus' name. Can we share the grace and fellowship? One, two, three, and let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God.